So first thing you want to do is you want to, because you have a computer, you already know your device, so you have a computer, a PC, or a Mac, you're going to type in Kodi, K-O-D-I. You want to go to the official site there, so you want to select Windows. Chances are you got a Windows, if you got a Mac, got a Mac, um, if you got Linux, but right now we're just going to do Windows. Now it's going to let you know what you're st installing into. You're installing into a 64-bit system. And if you got a 32-bit system, go to 32-bit system. And if you got an Xbox or something like that, then you just go to the, you know, the, the Windows Store. So now we have Kodi downloading. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to umntv.net. We're going to go back here to the home page. Now, as you can see right here, it says UMN TV Cody add on. UMN. So I'm going to click here on UMN TV Cody add on. I'm going to click on that. The add on should automatically download. You don't have to go nowhere. It's going to automatically download on your PC. And I'm going to save it on a desktop. So now I just downloaded two files. Um, I just downloaded the Cody and I just downloaded the UMN TV uh, plugin zip file. I'm going to go open up the Cody app. Okay, yes, I'm gonna select yes. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, and let the Kodi install. If you do not have qualifying internet, don't even bother with this channel. Like don't even like don't even waste your time. Those of us who have qualifying internet, we are opened up into a whole new world that you know a lot of people would never imagine. So now that I got my Kodi here on my PC. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to where it says add-ons. You see there, I'm going to go to add-ons. It's the little 3D box right here, and I'm going to click I'm going to click on that. Now, it's going to take me to another menu, and then I'm going to click on a little 3D box right here as well. It's basically uh, an icon for packages. I'm going to click on that, and then now it says... Uh, my add-ons, recent updates, install from repository, install from zip file. I'm going to install from zip file. Now, your very first time is going to prompt you and let you know from uh, for security installations of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. They let you know it's disabled. Unknown sources basically means that it has nothing to do with Kodi. So anything you install that doesn't have nothing to do with Kodi, they take no responsibility for anything. Now, and then you just want to select yes. Now, you want to press the back button or the escape button, and then you want to go back and you want to go and do it again. Now, it's giving us some files. It's opened up a window. It's giving us some files. Now, this is our C drive. This is where all your information is at, your C drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the C drive. Those of you who has Mac, um, the language is a little bit different, but the concept is exactly the same. All you're dealing with is different language. Click on that. Now, I saved it on the desktop. So what I want to do is I want to go to the desktop. And the best way to get to the desktop is to go to user. And then the name of this computer is called Evolution because I got this computer from Evolution Arcades. So he named the computer Evolution Arcades. And so whatever you named your computer or whatever your computer name, just go to that folder. This is what this computer is named. And so as you can see, now it goes up and it goes. You see my desktop is right here. It's giving me a bunch of links and I go to my desktop. Go to my desktop and there is my my plugin, UME and TV plugin right there. So I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to wait for that install. So it is installed. Press escape. And I'm going to go back. Escape. And as you can see, go back to the home page, to the beginning home page. When we first started up Cody, it looks like this. And now you go to the add-ons. As you can see, this is now added on. UME and TV now is on your PC. It's on your Mac. Now, but you're not done yet. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit the cursor right here and you're going to hold this down for about three seconds and let it go. Once you let it go, you're going to be prompt with a menu, information, disable, and settings. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings because I have to put my username and password. So now what I'm going to do is I, I need to get my username real quick. 
uh, most of you will get your username and your email, the main menu of Cody. Um, I'm going to go here to add-ons. As you can see, the UME and TV is added on in a, as a program add-on and, and a video add-on. And then I'm going to click on it. Now, as you can see, it's going to it's going and get the content that we provided, uh, UME and TV provided. So give it a second. Let it get this content. And as you can see, you can see my account. You can see live TV. And you can see video on demand. Now, the one thing Cody does not have is Cody does not have the series. Now, first, I'm just going to go to Live TV, and basically, Cody has its own menu format. So, to change the menu format, you want to go down here to the options in the lower left corner, click on options. Now, you see where it says view type. This is called the information wall. You can change that to a, 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 a white list. You can change that to a wall icon. You can change that. It's actually, you, you, you will get more once you start clicking on other categories.